So here's our second problem of a finite series, xt and ht are given. Uh, let's plot them to have a better idea. So xt has a value of 1, 1 from 0 to t, from t, 0 to t, it has a value, capital T, it has a value of 1. And ht has a value of t, which is a slope actually, so this value is slope, and the range is from 0 to 2 capital T, so from 0 to 2 capital T, so this is uh, the line for ht. Now, as we saw in the last problem, that we flipped ht and then we slide it towards right and found the overlapped area. Now, in the book, this is what has been done, but to me that looks to be very, very tough to understand and follow. So what I'll do is that I'll flip xt because this is a simpler signal and keep this in mind that whenever you're going to solve a problem, try to flip the simplest signal and uh, drag that. And we can do that. Okay, <clears throat> so these were the two signals, xt and ht. We, and these are the two formulas that we have. We discuss this formula and there is another way of writing this that is in this case we shift x function not h function. So that is what we will do here because h function is difficult in this case. So we will shift the x function. So our arrangement will now be like this. This is ht and here is xt. We will flip this and shift this function. So case number one, or step number one, change the variable from t to top. So everything has now been changed from t to top. Flip one of the signal, that is the, we'll now flip xt signal around x-axis. So from here we flip it like this. So this becomes the flipped signal and since it is in the negative direction, so it will be x minus tau. And now we'll play with these two signals. move the flipped signal to the left to get x t minus tau. So actually we are adding t here and t here, so it will be t and t minus capital T. So we moved it to the left, it is now t and t minus capital T. And as we did in the first case, uh, first example, if you assume it to be mounted on a trolley, it will be much easier for you to comprehend. So this is T and this is T minus capital T. And now we'll pull the trolley gradually till such time it starts overlapping. Okay, now for T less than zero, so this T or this T less than zero, there is no overlap. So the product will be zero, no overlap and hence the estimated range we can say it is minus uh, infinity to t or zero i'm not very sure what range you will call it but anyway it's minus infinity to zero and then the output from the equation the output will be zero okay now case 2, we have pulled it slightly, now t is between 0 and capital T. So case number 2, t is between 0 and capital T, you have to look at this t, it, the trolley t. It is 
between 0 and capital T. So that is our first case. And we have some overlap. Here is the overlap. You can see this is the overlap. So our multiplication will be this function, which is tau all the way. So tau multiplied by 1. So this is equal to tau. Tau multiplied by 1 is tau. So this is the product. And now we estimate the range of the area under the curve. So now this is the area under the curve. This is showing the overlap. What is defined clearly? Zero is defined clearly. So one of the starting point will be zero. End point is not defined here clearly, but it is defined here clearly. It is small t. So our range of tau will be from 0 to t. So tau is from 0 to t. That is will be the limit of the integration for the output. So output formula, put the limit of integration, put the value of the multiplication, which was tau, integrate. So it will become tau square over 2, put the two limits. So the final answer is half t square. So this is case number one. Now let's pull it further. So now we have pulled it so that t comes between capital T and capital 2t. So this is our case number three. The t is between capital T and capital 2t. The overlap, complete overlap of the bottom signal. The slope is still tau and this has an amplitude 1. So the multiplication will be tau times 1 which is tau. So the multiplication of the product gives tau. Now the range of integration. Now you can see it is not clear here what is the value. It is not clear here what is the value. But it is clear here that it is T minus capital T and here it is T. So th these two will now be our range of integration. So the range for tau is T minus capital T and the other end it will be T. Okay, so integrate these two are the limits and tau is the value. So we'll integrate tau square over 2, these two limits and putting the limit and solving and solving and solving you get the final value. So this is the final value for case number 3. Let's pull it further. Okay, now <clears throat> we have pulled it beyond 2 cap capital T and in between 2 capital T and 3 capital T. So this is here. So the range is now from 2 capital T to 3 capital T. And this is the overlap. The multiplication remains same, tau multiplied by 1, so multiplication is tau. And now the range of the limit. So let's see, this point is not defined, so this we'll take as, here it is defined clearly, so it is T minus capital T. But this point is not defined here, it is defined clearly here, so it is 2 capital T. So our two limits of tau will be T minus capital T to 2 capital T. So this is the limit of the range. And now we put in the equation. These two limits, keep in mind, 
this one and this one, integrate and solve. So the final answer you will get is as shown here. One more pull. The moment t goes beyond 3t, there is no overlap, so output will be 0. This I have some doubt whether you should write it from 3t to infinity or we should write just no range. But anyway, since multiplication is 0, therefore the output will be 0. Okay, so these were the values that we got for various ranges, values of the output. And don't try to plot it yourself manually, you can't do it. So you can take help of a MATLAB to plot it. So, so this is an extension of example 2.7 from signal systems. And in my previous video, one of the student has doubt as to how do we get this graph plot uh, from the output data that is given. I'll take help of Excel sheet and couple of things I have to assume. One is the t, this range t. So let me assume it to be equal to 5. And then uh, let me just put the values here. Now half t square can be written as 0 0.5 t square. Similarly, T, T, T is now 5 will be 5 T minus half T square T is 5. So half of 5 square will be 12.5. And similarly this one. So these three equations we are going to enter here. First let, let's take the first one here. And here we will enter these values. And if you don't know let me show you. You put an equal sign. And then we we'll write 0 0.5, 0 0.5 multiply bracket. And then we will put this value of t, if t square, t square. So we'll go here and a3 is selected, bracket close. Then we have to take a square of it. So we put that and square. So this is entered. And now this is for the first. Now since t is 0 here, therefore the value will be 0. But we can drag it for all the other values up to this point. So you can see the, these are the values for like t is equal to 1, t is equal to 2, t is equal to 3. Okay, and similarly for the second part, we will use this formula now, 5t t here is a9 minus 12, 5. So uh, let's enter this equal 5 multiply a9 minus 12.5, 12.5. Enter and we drag this to this point and similarly we'll put the third one equal sign 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 bracket multiply bracket then the time value like this one a14 bracket close, power 2, so add 2, and then we have plus 5t, so plus 5 into t, again this one, and then we have 37.5, so plus 37.5.
So we have entered this value and then we drag it for all the other values up to 15. So these are the values. Now let's see how uh, the plot develops. So first of all, we'll select the first five up to this and we go to insert line and select any of the graphs. Now you can see this is a non-linear graph because we have t square here. So this part of the graph, we just drag it here. This part of the graph is non-linear. And then we'll select the other half. So now we can this up to this point and insert line graph. Now you can see this is in two parts of the two graph graph connected, the non-linear here and the linear here. So non-linear up to let's say this point and then linear. So this is uh, drawn and now we'll select all three of them and insert line. So this is the graph that we have in the book and this is how you plot the graph. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.